you got that ugly Samsung shit? So you can see everything is already in the rear. I got the stubbies in here right now to block the axles. And I'm getting ready to cut this thing. I don't have the brace. We're at the back of the car, right? I do not have the brace. S1 sells a brace that fits within here. I believe it's 11 inches and there's two side pieces so that when you cut this out, um, you brace the side you brace the other side and you brace the top of it so that when you put the diff here, uh, the diff doesn't hit onto this. They get to sit a little bit lower and straighter so you can get to the drive shaft. I mean, so the drive shaft can be straight to the transfer case. All right, diff mount time. Late night, about 12 o'clock, about to put it in. Eddie's over, chilling. Yo. So, uh, I notched out a part last night. Small area, wasn't much. I'll show you what it was, this is it. I notched this out. And I actually got the piece from S1 today. This is the actual size that I need. So to give you some kind of contrast, I actually have to go this much more, All right? kind of marked where it is that I need to go with a marker, marker, and I'm gonna use a grinder and a sozo, a grinder right there. And I got a sozo somewhere under here. Right here. Sozo's over there, there you go. Just finished cutting, first, first shot at it. And like I told you guys earlier, this brace goes here. I just need this. You know, smoothing that out, get a little bit straighter. That goes up here. All right, that goes there. And then this, this piece right here. It goes here. Obviously, I'm going to have to cut a little bit shorter, but that goes up here. And that's how you would kind of block this in. I'm going to slightly go higher up here and move it to get it to fit a little better, but as of now, that's where we sit. <laughs> there we go. Diff mount is fabricated, not fabricated, but we're fitting it. I need to finish trimming this side, but I just wanted to see how much I had to trim before we do the trunk mount. Because the trunk mount is right up there. I just kind of mocked up the diff mount I trimmed out a small area that I would know that it'll clear this until I got the measurement for what I needed from the S1 kit. This is the measurement for the brace that you put here from the S1 kit. That's one piece. It's another piece, but these pieces kind of mirror each other. So I don't know what the other one is right now. But theoretically, this is the distance you need to measure. So I just basically put it up there, marked, marked, kind of put it on the side, mark, mark, and same thing on the back end. And I cut it out. There's the fit. You kind of see it sits up there. But what I actually need to do now, trim this back out a little bit more so that this can sit up further. And when this sits up further, I also need to cut out the trunk mount. So give me a second and I'll show you exactly how the trunk mount. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Easy. Relax. Everybody relax. Yeah. I'll cut out the trunk mode and show you exactly how that goes. Just give me a second. I'm gonna take this trunk mount. I mean, whatever the hell you call it, whatever. Right where the cutout is, right where I put the, not this piece. I don't know where it is. Right where I put that piece, right here, I'm gonna basically mark it. And then when I mark it, I'll remove it and I'll kind of go in slightly maybe a quarter inch or so on each side and get it cut. And instead of going all the way out, which would be probably here, I guess, I'm not measuring it right now, just showing you. I'll cut back a little bit just so that I can see and give myself a little bit of room for error. And then once this is up, I'll be able to put the other brace piece in and see where we sit. I'm not a rocket scientist. Try to make this as simple as possible. A sawzall, straight blade, right? I marked where I wanted, where that piece went, which was right here, which is a little bit wider. Right here, which is a little bit wider. I knew it needs to butt to this, so I came in a bit, and then I marked up here where it went. I stopped here. So what I'm gonna do is take the sawzall because it's a straight blade. I don't gotta worry about sparks and all that. And I'm gonna, I'm just going to box this off and get this out. Once I get that out, I'm gonna put the diff mount up and I'll see what else I need to do. Okay. tight weld and I got nothing there so I got room I got room guys I got room there you go I kind of forced it tucked the sides in a bit just to get it in to sit same thing on that side and what you do is well, now what you do is whatever. What I did was I took the marker and because I still needed to get it to keep going up, I'm just gonna mark it. Mark it where it kind of binds. I'm just gonna keep going up. I'm also gonna cut, whoops. I'm gonna cut, see how much distance I have between where the cut is here. Probably gonna get back to about here. Somebody's calling me now. So I got about an inch and a half before I get to where I need to be. It seems, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. I need light. Which seems accurate to an inch and a half to about here. So we'll see. I already updated you guys. I cut the hole out, cut the tray out for it to be welded. Just didn't grind it down yet. I got the diff down there on the mount. I got the diff mount in the car. It's just mocked up. I just want to see how far I got to cut, how much further I got to cut, if I need to cut. 
and then we'll see where we go from there. cut all that out so here's what I'm gonna do might be a bit extreme but I don't care I'm gonna cut right along there and I'm just gonna trim slightly above there hopefully the, the plate piece fits and goes there but I'm gonna cut slightly above right there Just trimmed out a little extra. Not sure if you can tell. Trimmed out a little extra from the top and the bottom. Let's see. Hopefully that's enough. All right, just cut the last piece out. When I say the last piece, I just mean the last piece that I just cut. Not saying it's done, but you can kind of see. I just don't want to go all the way to the brace. If I can avoid doing that, no problem. All right, let's see how the diff mounts up now. I think Jada's tired. Tired, Jady? Yep, she's tired. Put the diff up. So we're still in the mocking up phase. I didn't put the bar on. I just kind of let it sit on top of the diff so I can see how far I need to cut it on each side. I know for a fact right here, I need to come back about an eighth of an inch, but I'm actually gonna give it a little bit more. And uh, this has nothing to do with up here. This is gonna be a short 17. And then there's two braces that go from here to the top up here. So I'm gonna continue to cut, but for right now, the diff is actually fitted in the car where it's gonna sit. And uh, not too far more, for now. Far more now, what the hell am I saying? So, you can see where I have the brace. This brace, these slide to the end. And they get welded on to here. Or bolted, but I'm gonna weld it. There's one here, there's one on that side. But unfortunately, it's a little bit too long to get it up where it belongs. Once that goes up there, there's another brace that goes on the top. It goes there, but as of right now, looks like I need to shave these down. The ends just to even get it to go up. So what I'm gonna do is, I know where it sits, I know what I need to do as far as scraping this back, I know where I need to cut. I'm gonna cut that part, focus on that. And as far as the diff, I'm just gonna sand I mean, the, the mount, the top brace, I'm gonna just sand the sides down because I can tell where it goes. So I'm just gonna sand this entire piece down. Get it to bare metal so it's good welding surface so that when I get that piece up there into that C housing over there, it'll fit. But I put a level on it already, I know it's level. Um, that's pretty much it. But I'm gonna do that and I'll probably upload another video when I have some more. But as of right now, that's how it sits. I actually have both bolts in it. I can take it off. But I just choose not to because I wanted to kind of line it up to where I need it. That's basically it for tonight. 
I'm pretty much clapped out. Ground it out. Started sanding to just kind of get the metal good. We fitted where we need to be. It's a slight gap right there. But we're fitted where we need to be. So. Right, where we need to be. Excuse my language. That's in. Took the diff back out. That's notched where it needs to be. So it just needs to be reinforced. And then we'll get back to you. You dig? These also need to be cut. It helps the axle sit in a little bit more flush once the diff is in. Some people choose to drill out the three spot welds. I just cut it off. You keep that bolt in there. But I just cut it off. All right. Till next time. See if I get y'all some bonus footage. <laughs> Bye, JD. Say bye. Talk. Talk. Good girl. So I don't even, I don't even know how I end up in this, but I get a call. Somebody with a race. But my pink shoes, my pajamas. My car ain't ready. But the alpha's ready. So we're gonna pick up the alpha, hit Sammy up, he says slide through. So we're about to go get the alpha. Taking two hundred dollars with me. Look, no wallet, no nothing. Two hundred dollars. Just betting two hundred dollars. That's it. That's it. So I'm about to be on my way. See, what we driving? Whoa. We ain't taking that. We don't take. We don't take this out until we get to the alpha. On my way. I'm in the R class. About to go switch out vehicles real quick. Just ran over something. Don't know what that was. But I'm about to switch out vehicles real quick and get to the business. Whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy. Alright, see you in a little bit. Look at that ugly Samsung shit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>